New unemployment benefits coming? Maybe. In the form of unemployment tax breaks. There are lots of ways to pay you folks. This one could actually be coming to you in the mail. So from the IRS. Millions already went th out throughout 2021, but could a new unemployment tax break be on its way and ready to hit your accounts or in the form of a check? Find out what Joe Biden plans for his potential tax breaks, how you can prove self-employment and proof of work without documents, and also for those especially that have been in the comments about the California EDD unemployment, I'm going to cover some of your concerns. Why Goldman Sachs believes that unemployment will be at a 50-year low. I'm going to cover the numbers on that before you know it. And also, what is happening to the moon that hasn't happened in, since 1440? You were around then, right? Well, meh, yeah, we were both around. And while, why Staples Center decided to change their name and what to? Something completely out of left field, which is light, leaving a lot of people talking about it. We're going to cover a little bit of that. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Here's your unemployment update, employment update, jobs, financial, daily news, as well as an update for Wednesday, November 17, 2021. My goal is to give you the best access on this channel to government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto, other investments to generate your income, save you lots of money. Also, play the game down below if you want. There's no catch. We're not selling you anything. It's just for fun to bring us all together. We had some really cool winners last week, so make sure you do that. Also, we're sending out those prizes. I know they've been delayed to get those out, but we will get those prizes out as well as get new prizes out to the new people that win it this week. So make sure you check it out in the link down below. Also, I'm giving $2,000 away. All you got to do is subscribe, join the channel, like it. If you like the content and appreciate what I do for you guys, please give me a like. And I answer the comments. I like seeing the comments. It's fun. The best things happen in the comments. So make sure you throw one in there because we're going to randomly pick one when we hit 200,000 subscribers. And I'm giving $2,000 away to a lucky winner. So make sure you do that. Also, thank you so much to everybody who purchased the real estate program. It's still, for a limited time, going to be $99, the $10,000 course. The link is in the description. Two first videos are free. Check it out if you like it, if you have any interest, interest in real estate. Also, grab your two stocks with Webull for free, two valued up to $2,300. And also, thank you to my patrons who support the channel for $3 and get a bunch of really cool stuff every single day, actually 20 days a month, the article, all kinds of stuff. So, but first, the IRS is sending out more tax refunds this month of folks who got unemployment benefits last year. So far, 1.5 million refunds have been sent out in the last couple of weeks on top of a total amount of almost 9 million sent out since May of 2021. Now, there are rumors, and we've covered them uh, in detail, so we're going to report them to you here, that Biden may be planning to inst institute or put in place Few further benefits through these tax breaks because he wants to give you money. He's trying to figure out how to give you money. Well, one form is through taxes, right? Through giving you tax money that you gave him right now or the, the government. The American Rescue Plan of 2021 has an exclusion that caps $10,200 of someone's unemployment benefits from those who gross income this is a law this is as long as your modified gross income is less than $150,000. While these tax breaks could after could after millions have already been done, they've already done their tax year stuff. Maybe you've already done yours. The IRS is still refunding any excess tax payments someone could have made. So if you paid it, well they're fixing it now. These refunds have been very useful and Biden might decide to revisit these in the future. The only thing is it potentially stands in the way is the overall improvement in the job market, which is why we're covering it here on this video. It might be hard to bring that back to Congress when everything is going well and you come back to Congress and Congress is going, wait a minute, everything's good. You got one guy that's out of work. Uh, we, don't, we don't really care because there's not enough votes for the election coming because that's all they care about. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully Biden can push it through and uh, it'll happen for somebody. Meanwhile, some or many people, some of you still seem to be having issues with the California EDD along with around the country. Lots of people are having a problem with the PUA system. 
A lot of coming out of California, a lot of comments are coming out of California's EDD. So let's go over that. Specifically, let's talk about what you need if you cannot prove that you're self-employment. So you wanna, first of all, if you were self-employed or were looking to be self-employed and your PUA benefit in 2020, you'll need to provide documents for 2019 tax year. If your PUA claim began in 2021, they want documents from 2020 tax year. If you took a job at a point where you were receiving what, you know, you stopped after that, but then you got a job with the EDD and you got a W-2, make sure you provide that because you had a job and then you were gonna start your own business. So it would make sense that you had a W-2. But if you were starting a business, you can provide a business license, that's it. They understand that your business probably didn't take off during the pandemic because, well, who could have anticipated that? Besides, there are other things that you can do. You could write a business plan. It's pretty easy to create. You can go on Google and find the template and actually provide them with your business plan, what you were gonna do. We were gonna go sell tomatoes on the corner. Here's our plan. We were gonna buy it from Joe who sells tomatoes and we we're gonna sell it to everybody on the corner. Of course, your business plan, you might wanna put the right tax year on it, 2019 or 2020, depending on when you claimed PUA. The fact is that not every business has receipts or invoices. Some of you just didn't get, that, get to that at that point or maybe you threw it away. Regardless, if you're not able to provide the information, at least the business plan can help you or a business license that you can provide them so you don't have to pay back that money. What I'm getting from talking to some of the unemployment people that I've got connections to is that they really don't want this money back. They know it'd be hard to collect from you anyway. What they want is just something so they can fill it in because it was changed during the 20, uh, December 27th when, uh, bill. So they, the feds are making them cover their bases because the money came from the federal government. Uh, it was something that the last administration wanted in there. Check your mailbox to see if you got that potential overpayment claim or they want verification to see. Make sure that you clean it all up the best you can so that you don't ignore it is what I'm saying. I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously, this applies to everybody uh, who lives in California specifically and also around the country that are getting those notices from that federal law. But if you're self-employed and received unemployment, please check the link below. Next up, we got to talk about jobs. What does Goldman Sachs ha have to say about unemployment numbers? According to them, the job market could reach a max level of employment by mid-2022. Goldman Sachs said that right now, there is a, quote, red hot demand for workers, end quote. And the unemployment rate will apparently drop, is what they're talking about, from 4.6% to 3.7% by mid-2022, and then 3.5% by the end of the year. This goes back to what I was talking about with the potential unemployment tax breaks. While it's possible, Goldman Sachs doesn't seem to think it's necessary. The crazy thing about the 3.5% number, though, is that it's a 50-year low, as it's better than the pre-pandemic levels, better than when we were celebrating job numbers. How is that possible? We're hearing that the pandemic created a huge worker awareness that is apparently keeping people from working. Well, we're seeing the numbers like this. It just really doesn't add up. It's tricky, right? Well, Goldman Sachs also reported, quote, while labor force participation is likely to remain below its pre-pandemic trends, this looks structurally and voluntarily in an environment where job opportunities are plentiful, end quote. Is this hard to, is this hard to wrap your head around? It's certainly strange, huge, 50 year low, and huge, and yet so many people are supposedly not going back to the workforce. And here's something that um, we waited for some time, and it's crazy. Just take a look outside, and take a look at the moon. I was driving here, I saw the moon, made me think about it. I'm like, this is really strange. A beautiful partial lunar eclipse will make 97% of the moon very dark on Thursday. So you can look for that tomorrow, November 18th, and Friday, November 19th you'll be able to see the, from North America, Australia, New Zealand, um, Eastern Asia, and South America. It's kind of fun, check it out, make sure you, you check it out. And finally, the metaverse has finally arrived. Crypto.com, Staples gone forever, the legacy of Staples. Tons of people are talking about this. Third trending about how Staples Center is now Crypto.com. 
which is probably awesome for cryptocurrency because now they're going to be plastered all over sports. And of course, the Lakers, so many people watch them. It's a crypto exchange platform that many people use. It's been all over in the fighting. It's been here in Las Vegas with the UFC. So we've seen quite a bit of it, but it's amazing. This legacy of NBA through and literally, is it going to strip away the history of the legacy of, you know, Reggie Jackson and the Lakers Clipser, Clippers? You know, all the all the stuff. I'm, I'd love to know. And Kobe, especially that air growing up with the championships and Shaq. Well, we'll have to see. It's going to be hard to call it Staples Center. We call it Crypto Center. I don't know. I guess love to hear your thoughts. Is that crazy upsetting? You see it coming. I've been covering that with you guys about making sure you get caught up in this crypto. Down below, you can get $10 of Bitcoin for free. It's a link that I put there so you guys can get a taste of some crypto. Gemini's in there too. You can get some free Gemini coins too. If you still haven't applied for unemployment assistance, get a head start on the weekend and apply today. They got 26, 27 weeks waiting for you there. If you've been laid off or fired from your job for the right reasons, make sure you check that out. Google it ahead of time before you apply. But be honest and truthful applying for that unemployment insurance you can get a check for thousands of dollars if you got back unemployment you can still claim that stuff the pua is still closed and the uh, federal extended disaster relief unemployment benefits for gig workers self-employed independent contractors 1099s still kind of crickets right now on the subject i hope they bring that back into the legislation it's supposed to have done by the end of the week we'll have to see we're waiting on pens and needles i'm andrew cartwright take care of yourself love you